Hello and welcome to today's crypto video where I try to bring you the news without the hype. The first thing we're going to look at is David Joel Katz has tweeted out, that'll, that'll stop all that nuisance tripping. And I think it's a picture of a fuse board um, and basically someone's kind of bastardized it to kind of the main frame of it to, to stop it from tripping. If you read through the comments, I mean... The strange thing is, David Schwartz knows that everyone's going to all of a sudden read loads into everything he posts, and people are going, oh my god, there's a switch, there's a switch, it means he's going to flip the switch, it means any time now XRP is going to go to the moon, and we're going to flip the switch. So I think David Joel Katz likes to play games with the XRP community. He often puts these kind of cryptic pictures out there, uh, knowing full well that we're going to try and read as much into it as possible. It must be nice to be David Schwartz, you know, super rich, super wealthy. You've done really well out of XRP because there's definitely a few people that have done very well out of XRP, including Brad Garlinghouse. And we're all st sitting here still waiting for price accumulation and having to sit through variable guy one, two, three riddles and David Schwartz's riddles. But me personally, I find them quite entertaining. I find them interesting. Uh, that's just me. I think it probably frustrates a lot of people. But I love a good puzzle. <clears throat> I always have. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So let us go through uh, the Wolf of All Streets. Breaking. Today was the worst day of the entire year for the crypto market. Yeah. So I included this because obviously we've seen a massive crypto dump uh, across the board. All crypto seem to be down. And I think a lot of people's comments are, how come... XRP never seems to participate in all of the huge upswings, but as soon as there's a dump, we seem to dump along with the rest of the market. It just seems a little bit, it's a little bit frustrating, um, especially because we're seeing a lot of uh, altcoins pop at the moment. Not all, not all altcoins. So a lot of people are getting frustrated going, hang on a minute, we seem to be in a bull market. There seems to be a lot of coins that are going up. How come XRP hasn't gone up? A lot of coins haven't gone up. A lot of the altcoins hasn't gone up. And generally during a bull market, most altcoins, nearly all altcoins across the board should go up. So I still hold hope that we are early in this bull run. And again, if you follow a lot of the chart people like BC Backer, they kind of say, yeah, this was to be expected. And, we're, and they are still looking at new all-time highs for XRP. Okay, I thought this was interesting from the Culture Critic. If you look at your phone now or whatever you're looking, uh, whatever you're listening to this video on, it's from the Culture Crit Critic and it says, why did human beings stop building wonders? And it's someone walking out of a, a tube station and they're coming up uh, to the kind of the surface level and you're just greeted with this amazing cathedral, this kind of amazing, amazing Gothic building and it's snowing and it just looks absolutely breathtaking. I grew up in Austria and in Vienna 1, you've got a place called Steffensplatz. And as you come out of the underground, you're greeted with Steffensdome, which is this just incredible cathedral. Uh, so Steffensdome, the cathedral. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And even if you've lived there for many, many years, like I did, on a beautiful day, like a beautiful sunny day, or especially a lovely, cold, frosty, wintry Christmas day, and you come out and it's snowing, and you just look up at this absolutely amazing uh, architect uh, sort of creation of human beings. And it brings me on to my next point, where the next picture on the screen is someone says, people designed this, people approved this, people built this for other people to live in. And it's the ugliest block of flats you've ever seen. It's just a big rectangular block sticking out of the ground. There's absolutely nothing attractive about it. And I've always wondered to myself, why do we build such ugly things now when in the past people really seemed to care about things that were getting built to look amazing and to stand for hundreds, if not thousands of years? We just, I don't know, I, I don't know whether it's kind of a sickness in society of the political ruling class where they just allow these monstrosities to be built as opposed to these beautiful, beautiful cathedrals. It's always, always amazes me that yeah, this happens that, that just, I don't understand it. Why don't we build anything amazing anymore? Okay, going back to crypto. So Ido Farina 
XRP pumped to a higher $3.84 when the total crypto market cap was $800 billion. Today, the total crypto market cap is $1.72 trillion, and XRP is worth only 0.58 cents. XRP is very undervalued in comparison with other alts and should be worth over $10 right now. I think that's my sentiment as well. People just don't understand it. It's ridiculous, the price of XRP at the moment. I don't know what games are being played by closed doors, whatnot. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. And I share your frustrations if you're listening to this. We should be doing amazing right now. So yeah, we hit $3.84 when the market cap of crypto was 800 billion. It's now 1.72 trillion and we're still not doing great. Okay, altcoin daily. Funny how when Bitcoin price was 43k, every, everybody was praying and wishing for lower prices. However, now the Bitcoin price is 42k, nobody wants to buy. It always amazes me the sentiment in the markets. I mean, we are emotional creatures, human beings. And yeah, when the price is going up, we think it's going to keep going up, keep going up. And then we wish we had got, got to buy in cheap. And then as soon as the price goes down, we think, oh, no, this is it. It's just going to keep going down and down and down. And you can see that from the crash that happened yesterday or over the last few days, everyone's just kind of going, oh, no, this is Doomtown. Everything's going to crash. Everything's ruined. And it amazes me how emotional most of these retail investors are that you find on Twitter, because the serious investors, people that really look at the long game of this, don't particularly care about these swings up and down. Saying that in the XRP community, yeah, we're frustrated that we haven't seen any We've waited five years and we still haven't seen this upswing. Hopefully it's going to happen this year. Uh, fingers crossed, but you know, it, it pisses me off just as it pisses you off, I'm sure. Okay, I thought this was interesting, which is why I included it. Bitcoin news, breaking Missouri State uh, Rep, uh, so Republican Phil Cristofanelli introduces a groundbreaking bill known as the Digital Bill of Rights. The legislation ensures individuals have the right to self-custody Bitcoin and eliminate state capital gains taxes for Bitcoin transactions under $200. So it does seem more and more conversation is being bought and more bills are getting put out to try and establish some form of framework for crypto. I don't think Gary Gensler will be able to pull his string uh, to play his games any longer. I think the puppet masters that pull his strings, they're running out of time. They're going to at some point have to come up with clear crypto regulations you know there's kind of two trains of thought uh, one is let's hurry up with the crypto regulations the others well you know what xrp is along with bitcoin the only cryptocurrency with the legal clarity in the world so we are if we are going to enter a an epic bull run uh, that should do xrp very well just like it hindered us in 2020 to 2021 with the sec lawsuit now we are the only one with legal clarity arguably other than bitcoin we should do very well during the uh, during the bull run. Time will tell. Okay, Eleanor Terrett, new from me on today's SEC Gov meeting with exchanges. SEC stock exchange officials meet ahead of potential spot Bitcoin ETF approval. So yeah, I think we're just going to keep seeing this non-stop narrative of spot Bitcoin ETF any moment now, any moment now. And then XRP Crypto Wall said XRP shouldn't have dumped with the rest of the market WTF. Yeah, frustrating. It is frustrating. Okay. Mr. Huber put out a picture where it says less than 100 XRP needed to become a millionaire, question mark. And he put GN at the top. If any of you know what GN stands for, I couldn't, I looked in the comments and couldn't find out. So it's in capitals and it's literally GN, so golf november i uh, haven't got a clue what he's talking about but i'm pretty sure mr huber it was only a few days ago put out you should take profits now because the price is going to go down and everyone kind of laughed and what have we seen boom the price has gone down okay i like this from rob art so rob art crypto coins crew all you need is patience and testicular fortitude at this point in time I thought this was relevant, mainly because looking at the people that do look at my YouTube channels, it's still a very small channel, it's a new channel. Uh, they're mostly men, so all you need is patience and testicular fortitude at this point in time. 
So yeah, I think that is everything that I wanted to cover today. You know, I'm just like you, you're sitting at home just waiting for, uh, you know, hopefully some price action to come any minute now, if you follow a lot of the chart people, which I do. I think the news is very relevant uh, to the grand scheme of how your investment is going, but also the chart experts who really know what they're talking about and dedicate their life to charts. I think they can have they can add a huge weight of information to where we are at the moment. So, for example, if you look at things like Dash, where a lot of the developers left, a lot of the chart people are going, well, you know, we do integrate that news into the charts going, you know, what's Dash going to do? Is Dash going to do anything great? Whereas the fundamentals for XRP haven't changed. And this is what's so crazy is everyone's going, you know, Ripple, the company has a stellar team. They're absolutely amazing. They've got such important people on their board of directors, such as Sandy O'Connor, Craig Phillips, Anya Manuel, Warren Jensen, et cetera, et cetera, Rosie Rios. Uh, they've got so many partnerships around the world. And then you go back to tweets of David Schwartz of a switch. And I think we're just going, you know, when are, when is the switch going to be flipped? If there's a switch going to be flipped, when are we actually going to see XRP used in a real use case? I think we're all getting a little bit frustrated at this point in time. So I'm there with you. I'm, uh, But again, going back to the chart people, they seem to be much more emotionally rock steady because they're looking at the long picture. They're not, they're not really listening to the noise of the news and the narratives and the emotional highs and lows of people daily. Uh, so example on Twitter, as soon as the price of cryptos has gone down, everyone's screaming doom and gloom. As soon as the price goes up, everyone's going, yeah, this is fantastic. But if you listen to people like BC Backer, Kevin Cage, uh, and there's a few other great people, I believe Dark Defender does it as well. You know, they're kind of going, it will move when it's supposed to move. So that is what I'm holding on to uh, for 2024. We will keep kind of bringing the news, we will keep bringing the price action, seeing what's happening. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. It really does help push this video out to other people. If you're looking for something to do, then feel free to visit my other channel, which is called the Discord Files. It basically goes through the most amazing stories this world has to offer and will also increase your knowledge and education on the history of the world and the amazing things that have happened. So if that's something you want to see, then a video link will appear on your screen now. Thank you very much.